So here's the real. Here it is. It's one o'clock in the morning. I had intended to be in bed by 12.30 at the latest. And I have to be up for at least 15 more minutes to put away all the stuff I use to do my hair and to make sure my bag is at least semi-packed for tomorrow. Um, I had to stay up and do this. I don't even know. I haven't done this in so long. I don't even know if it's going to curl how I want. Like I twisted it and then I like put it on rods. For those of you that don't know, I used to have a natural hair YouTube channel. I guess I still have it, I just don't upload to it. So if you check me out at Natural Decay, you can see my natural hair videos. Um, but of course you guys know that this is my main channel, but that's what I used to do when I first started vlogging or whatever. So anyway, I'm pretty much going to bed because I got a lot of stuff to do tomorrow. But I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what my day looked like today. So I'll catch you guys on the next one. I have a busy day today, so I don't know how much I'll vlog, but today is performance day number one. I mean, as you can see, my hair is still wrapped up. Y'all know I don't like going out the house like this, but I don't know what to do, so I'm pretty much gonna have to make it work. Yes. yes. So these are the B2s. <laughs> oh, Peter Pan, y'all. We're getting ready for our fourth song. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I really I wish I would have gotten that. Like, can you see yourself? I can. Good. Good. Yeah. Everybody wave. Hey! Uh, Yay! Uh, I'm like touching your shirt in my Yay. <laughs> And over there. Oh. <laughs> it's I a video. Oh, oh my god! First off, I definitely look so good, and Kaisha is amazing. She's awesome. What time is it? It's for YouTube. <laughs> oh, this is this YouTube. Oh. For YouTube, oh my god! I'm so sorry, I spit on her. <laughs> <laughs> so we're in tap class. Definitely in tap right now. We're gonna try to tap. We're gonna wing it for our today. lives. We're really so Molly. It. We're just so Molly. You don't be in a Molly? Oh, come on. Just say hello. I really don't. I'm so poor. Okay, next time. I can use a shower before I do this. If you don't. <laughs> so this is Jordan DeSantis. She has a YouTube channel. Make sure you like. Follow, subscribe. At Jordan DeSantis. At Jordan DeSantis. Like and like and subscribe. comment, share, all that good stuff. <laughs> cool. <laughs> all right, guys. The last time you saw me, I was in a tap class. Um, I was about to start tap, finish tap. Ooh, kicked my behind. I was so from CrossFit yesterday. And here I am back at CrossFit doing another workout because the best way to get over the soreness is to keep going. Stop. Kind of makes it worse, in my opinion. So, I did a workout today. Tomorrow, I'm probably going to take a rest day. And then on Thursday, back at it. Friday, back at it. And then um, I'm going to rest this weekend because it's my husband's birthday. Then I'll pick it back up next week. So, just want to give you guys a Well, people. Looks like it's another late night for me. I am still at AMDA. AMDA closes in 20 minutes. It's 1040 at night. I gotta get up out of here. I'm exhausted. That CrossFit class killed me today, but I am very proud of myself for still choosing my physical and mental health. That's something I definitely need to do and will continue to do this year. That's what I'm committing to. It's just hard because I'm sore. I have jazz in the morning and I'm sore and I know I'm gonna be more sore tomorrow. Cause like I told you, I did 60 pull-ups, even though they were assisted, they were still pull-ups and Today we the snatches and my quads are crazy sore. Um, so tomorrow's definitely a rest day. I'm gonna rest tomorrow, going back to CrossFit on Thursday and Friday. And then I'm gonna wrap it up for the week, but y'all, I'm exhausted. I am so tired. Um, so I'm pretty much gonna wrap up the vlog here because I know that when I get home, I'm going to be trying to pack my bag and make sure that I have everything as ready as possible for tomorrow. So I'll catch you guys in the AM. I didn't vlog all day. I'm exhausted. It is so hard for me to vlog this week. There is so much happening. So um, right now I have about 45 minutes before I have to go into class. So I'm just sending this voice room real quick. Um, oh, excuse me, I'm hungry. I haven't had a chance to eat. I'm about to find me a miracle snack. Um, you can hear there's lots of singing going on in the background. I don't know if you guys can hear that. I'm rocking a Cindy Lou Who inspiration. I don't know. I just need this to stay curled for musical theater and I don't have it until 3.30. Um, so yeah, today is song number six. Yesterday was song number five. I did Zip. Today I'm doing Windy City from Calamity Jane. Y'all pray for my energy. Yes, I'm looking good and crazy for y'all right now. Yes, yes. 
Hey guys, I did not vlog since I was in that voice room. Like I literally have been on the run. I told you guys this week was crazy and I did not lie to you. Um, it has been crazy. I just didn't have it in me to, to do anything else but to focus on what I was doing. But I wanted to give you guys an update. So right now I'm doing my hair, that's why I look crazy. I washed it, I'm about to twist this stuff up so I can have a cute hairstyle for hubby's birthday weekend. His birthday is tomorrow and so I'm just trying to pull it together he's actually calling me I'll call him back so um is that makeup is that oh. wow that's makeup isn't it wow so I'm just gonna look real crazy for y'all okay wow <laughs> wow so I'm gonna get a makeup wipe while I talk to you I'll tell you what happened earlier so I performed my sixth song in musical theater which I think I mentioned was Windy City um, from Calamity Jane. I grew up watching Calamity Jane. I absolutely love, love, love Calamity Jane and I love Doris Day in general. Whoops, turn the light off on you guys. And um, so I was really excited to do this piece. I was also very nervous because it's a big song. It's a big number. Um, if you're not familiar with it, uh, look up. So it's a big number. And since it's such a big number, I was like, oh my God, like, can I do this? And so I started working on this song probably when I started working on my song number two for musical theater. And so I've been spending a lot of time on it. I've sang it so many times, right? Just making sure I have no makeup on my face. I'm not being weird. Anyway, um, so <clears throat> we performed it today and it had a tap number in it. Now, mind you, I have been tapping for eight months now, okay? We can say that this is month eight, let's say. I've been tapping for all of eight months. I've never tapped by myself on stage, let alone done it when I'm singing a song, okay? So this is very new territory for me. And so I was extremely nervous. Like, I was literally freaking shaking before. Like, my hands were literally going like this. And I was just like, oh, help me, Lord. I mean, I was just so nervous. Um, I listened back to my performance because we're allowed to record like the audio of it. And so listening back, I'm not too terribly displeased with the vocals of it. I think my vocals were okay. They could have been better, but they were okay. It's probably the best I've done in terms of really getting my, my sound out and not cutting my sound off. I would say that for sure. Um, especially under the nerves that I was under. Like y'all don't even understand. Like I thought I was going to pass out. Um, and I'm not being dramatic. I really thought I was going to faint. Um, um, part of it too was I had a bandana around my neck and in that room was very very warm and I was nervous I was like oh I'm about to go out of here like I really thought I was going to faint um so I'm just not happy though let me be honest with you so um as you guys know I'm a recovering perfectionist I've actually don't even know if I've said that on my channel but I'm recovering um I don't want to continue to live my life expecting myself to be perfect because that's no way no way to live it's just not like it's it's not fun um and I don't know where this perfectionism started in my life I don't know but I will say that I've been like this for years and I just don't I can't you cannot, if you're going to be an actor, you can't be a perfectionist. It's just not possible. You know what I'm saying? And I say that because actors have to be able to play. They have to be willing to make mistakes and willing to fail and willing to make big choices and things like that. And I'm like, perfectionism doesn't get along with those principles. And so, um, <clears throat> I will just say that I am not a thousand percent happy with my performance today because I envisioned it going so much differently. Um, but that doesn't mean I'm not progressing. It feels like I'm not sometimes, but it doesn't mean I'm not. Um, so I was really down after musical theater. I was just like, huh, I didn't cry today. You know, actually I didn't cry all this week. Um, maybe it's time for a good cry. Maybe that's what it is. I haven't cried in a while. Um, Besides like watching videos on YouTube that, or on um, Instagram or Facebook or anything like that, I really have not cried and just released a good old cry in a while. So maybe it's, it's time for a cry. But um, yeah, I was pissed if I'm being honest. I was literally pissed after musical theater today. I just felt so down because it's like I understand up here logically what I'm supposed to be doing. I understand the technique. It's just executing it that is really difficult for me and I keep trying to remind myself that you know Kaisha this is new territory you have never done this before you have never done musical theater in your life you are eight months into doing musical theater you cannot expect yourself to be perfect at this you cannot expect yourself to just have these uh Tony award winning performances every time you get up in, in the classroom no you can't um so it is what it is I think what I'm most proud about with 
my performance today was the fact that I chose that song. I was really afraid to do it because I knew I would have to tap by myself. I knew I would have to get on stage by myself and sing. And I was like, you know what? Let's give it a go because when I get in this lead role on Broadway, I'm gonna have to be up there by myself and I might have to tap. I might might have to do, you know, something alone. And so, hey, it is what it is. We, we got through it, we did it. Um, I'm not sure what my final song will be yet, but as soon as I'm informed by my teacher, I'll let you guys know. Um, so yeah, I'm about to do my hair. Y'all know I have not gotten in bed before two o'clock in the morning in like three days. Nope, four days. So I'm going to take advantage of the fact that it is actually 9.54 as soon as I twist my hair. As soon, soon as I twist my hair. I'm lying to y'all. Um, I'm definitely going to say my piece for voice production and speech one more time. Then I'm going to make sure my bag is packed because I'm going home for hubby's birthday. I'm kind of stressed because the apartment is crazy, but it's just going to have to be crazy. I don't have time to clean the apartment and pack and get in bed early. And I'm trying to go to CrossFit in the morning so that I can get one more CrossFit workout before I go home. Okay, that was a lot, but I just wanted to give you guys an update. Um, I will catch you guys later. I'm ending the vlog for today, so you guys have a good one.